Hello and welcome to Tom Plays Port of Call. I have no idea what we're in for with this one. I'm just we're 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 doing it. We're doing it live. Click to start. Okay, was to move. Left click, yes. Okay. I guess I'm supposed to talk to this guy. Gal thing out oh, or or not. Point messing with it. Are you over here now? Okay. Oi! Oi, you there! You're late! I think you know perfectly well why you're here. On board with you. I'll see you on the in the bridge. Yeah, Come on now, get. No, still don't need that. Okay. Getting on the boat. Can we jump off the boat? No, we can't jump off the boat. Okay. Maybe we're out in the middle of the Atlantic. Lines and shapes wouldn't have pegged him as an art guy. Obviously we're supposed to talk to him next, so I'm going to do the exact opposite and have a look around. Empty room. Em empty room. L let me guess. Another empty room. Oh, wow. Would you would you look at that? This is the worst ship ever. This this doesn't even go anywhere. There's highly inefficient. Oi. All right, to business. I assume you know how to do your job. Get to it then. I'm the captain of this here hunk of scrap and I'll have no more dilly-dallying. What are you talking about? Great, they've sent me another idiot. I haven't the time to hold your hand while you learn to pick your nose. I have a ship to run. I guess I can start you off with a simple task though. If that's not too hard for your wee little brain. It's a little girl in the first cabin on the left. No, there's not. I already checked there. Go get her ticket. Little brat won't let me come within a foot of her without her squealing like a babe. Come back to me when you're done. And if you're feeling a bit lost, feel free to come back and chat. I'll take care of you. Alright. Yeah. Okay. There's a line, apparently. Well, that's changed already. Everything's changed. Okay. Mirror cutesy, but it doesn't do its job. Okay. I'm supposed to put... Oh, I got a Viridian crayon. I have no idea what I'm doing right now. Winter in High Fantasy Book 1. I can't jump, so I can't get to some of these things. A Cerulean Crayon. Ball and Cup. Too many hours are spent playing this game. Grandfather Clock. The ticking in these things always drives me nuts. There's no ticking. What ticking are you referring to? I don't know why I'm picking up all the crayons and putting things in the box, but gosh darn it, I'm going to do it. This game's probably like five minutes long, I'm, I'm assuming. There's probably not much to it if I don't 
waste some time doing this. Was that a goat? No, that wasn't a goat. Not even reading the, the, the book names at this point. Just gonna drag everything I can. Well, see, I, I can't get to some of these books. Oh yeah, I can. Okay. It was out of reach before. Honestly, if you've made it this far in the video, you have more patience than I expected you to have. They're just everywhere. The books are everywhere. There's so many books. Why does she have so many books? Who has this many books? A world of animals. The wear on the cover indicates a lot of use. Well, I can't reach it, so I guess my quest was all for naught. It doesn't look inhabited. Well, it's a dollhouse. What do you expect? No, that's where I store my rats. My large collection of rats. Alright, fine. I'll talk to the girl. Or... Cat... thing? <laughs> Don't eat me! Oh, who are you? Uh, the ferryman sent me... Boogeyman sent you. Are you going to eat me? I am a little hungry now that you mention it. That's not funny. But you don't seem like scary like him. You seem familiar. But I do need to get your ticket. Ticket? I don't remember getting any ticket. But I'm missing something. Ted's! Do you know where he is? Ted's? Ted's is the bestest bear in the world. He's my best friend. Last time I saw him, we were playing together and hiding from Marcus. Who's Marcus? Could you find Ted's? Well, I, I, I don't get the feeling you're giving me much choice here. It's either that or just keep picking up books and putting them in your toy chest. No Ted's here. Oh, stuck on the door frame. I get, I get that a lot. I get stuck on door frames an awful lot lately. More books, just what we needed. Physics! Oh look, it's Ted's. I can turn things on and off? That's the best game ever! What is this? Pagoda Bridge. Alright. It's a green thing on the wall. Always good to see. Flames or a scaly surface. More books, more useless junk, more nothing. Okay, flowers. Well, yeah, I could have told you that. Here's your damn teddy bear. <laughs> oh, Ted's! I missed you so much! Hmm. Last thing I remember is me, Marcus, and Ted's were playing together while Mom and Dad were gone. What is wrong with your face, lady? Who's, who, who, who is Marcus? Marcus is my big brother. He's nice and funny and silly and a dork. We were playing hide-and-seek when... What happened? The three of us were playing hide-and-seek. Marcus, Ted's, and me. I imagine Ted's isn't very good at hide-and-seek. Um, but Marcus was the seeker. Ted's had a great idea for hiding spot, so I listened to him. Well, there's your problem. Where did you hide? We went to hide with the rest of Ted's friend in my toy chest. Oh, you mean that place that I've been shoving all of your books? I climbed in, the lead fell down, and it got dark. I got scared. I'm regretting using this voice. The wooden lid was too heavy. I couldn't lift it off. Where was Marcus? I don't know. I called for him. I think he went upstairs. Was upstairs. It looks... It was so dark. And I couldn't breathe. And then it hurt. Is this a story about... Why didn't Marcus find me? 
Uh, I'm sure he looked for you. Yeah, he always liked being Seeker. I just don't know why he didn't find me. Maybe because you hid inside the toy chest and closed the door. Do you think he wanted to find me? I couldn't tell you, kid. All I know is that you're here now. I guess so. I just wanted to see him again. Maybe he's still looking for me. And, and there she goes. Oh, that's a ticket. Gosh, the bloom. Ugh. Is there anything going on inside of the ship? No? I'm not going to bother walking all the way around there. There's just not going to be anything there. Can I call out of here? Can I, can I, can I call for some help? No? Can I steer the ship? No? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. You got your first ticket. I guess you're not completely inept. The girl Lily made it sound like she was dead. And what of it? Aw, oh, don't tell me you feel sorry for her. So you hear loads of kids off it every day. And you don't give a rat's ass about any of them. Well, that's assuming an awful lot now, isn't it? Why would she be any different? What happens to her now? Hell if I know, hell if I care. That's the spirit. I just deliver the stiffs. Anything that happened afterwards is not my problem. Rocking a sweet beard there, bro. Anyway, I got you another job for you now, lady. Am I, am I being paid for any of this? Use the lift at the end of the hallway and go talk to the drunkard in the bar. I can't understand a thing that fat man says. Judgmental much? And I don't have time for any more of your stupid questions. Yes, I, I can see that you're so busy attending to this long line of passengers. Oh, the green thing changed. I think that's a button. That's a button. Well, at least it was a quick elevator ride. Ah, music box. No list of songs. I'll have to try my luck. I regret this already. Something better, maybe. Oh, I, I really don't, you know, I don't care. Draft faucets, if they have any good beer. Well, there's no bar bartender. Maybe I'm the bartender. I'll be the bartender today. Now this is vinyl. Oh, there you are. What kind of service is this? I've been waiting for ages, you know. Impatient little... Do I know you, old man? I'm just here to collect your ticket. Hmm, you may not know me, but I remi but you remind me of someone I once knew. Why don't you get me a drink? Maybe we can have a little chat. Play it long, I guess. What do you want? Cheers. Let's see, how about we start with something simple? Yes, I think a gin and tonic will do nicely. Okay. I'm a clicking. Nothing's happening. Oh, this bottle's over here. Jupiter Delight, Bearded Sailor, Potato Riot. P potato Riot? Now we're talking. William Orange, Simple Quainine. Pick up Not Your Pops Soda Pop. What? Uh, oh, you know what? You're getting some potato right, buddy. All right, I guess I'm just going to pick them all up. Screw it. Oh, no, I, I, I can't, I can't pick up any more. Here you go, sir. Ugh. That's not what I asked for. Come on now, I got an achievement for that. Come on now, son. It's not that hard. Try again. 
Picked up tonic. Picked up gin. Hey, I think I got it right this time. <sighs> ah, that's the stuff. Now then, why don't you tell me about yourself? Well, that's a long story. Totally, the ship is dead. You think I'm dead? Sounds stupid. I don't even remember my name. All right, let's go with the direct approach. The ferryman told me everyone on the ship was dead. You think I'm dead? <laughs> Haha, uh -huh. well, you don't look quite dead to me, son. But if that's so, you're in pretty good company. Most everyone on the ship's been dead for some time now. Well, except for the grouch in the raincoat. No one's quite sure about him. He's got a sweet beard, though. How can I tell if I'm dead? Ten easy steps to tell if you're dead. Now that's a question only you can answer. It's different for everyone. Give it some time though, I'm sure you'll figure it out. Then do you remember how you died? Ah, that's a story I've not told in a long time. And not one with a particularly happy ending either. Are you sure you want to hear it? I really want to say another time, but I'm going to go ahead and say go ahead. I uh, had a daughter once a long time ago. Suffice to say, she died in an accident when she was young. And my wife followed her soon after. Died of a broken heart, I guess. It was only me and my son then. And, well, I took to drinking. And that's worked out so well for you. It eventually did me in. Now then, how about another drink? So you haven't learned... You haven't learned anything from all this. I think I'm feeling some old-fashioned rum and cola this time. Well, I know what cola is. I know that's cola, and I think... Potato Riot was rum? Damn, that's vodka. I screwed it up. Sorry, here. Yeah. Not quite what I had in mind. Give it another try. Um... Bearded Sailor? Ah, ah, that's what I'm talking about. I'd tip you, well, if I had any money, that is. Everyone's just cheapskating me left and right today. Now, what were we talking about? Look, I can't remember anything before getting on this boat. I can't even recall my name. I remember the broken lantern, though. Oh! Oh, I wouldn't worry too much about that. Things like that have a tendency of floating back around. Hey, get it? Floating because we're on a boat and... Oh, never mind. Anyway, I think it's time for another drink. Really? Why don't you get a little fancier? How about you pace yourself, buddy? How about some vodka and orange juice? I can actually do that. Potato Riot vodka. And I'm assuming William Orange's juice? Yeah. See, we're getting better at this already. Hmm, uh, that's some strong drink. Thanks, Marcus. I think I'm gonna take nap now. Wait, what did you call me? Horace's ticket. Damn this bloom. Damn this bloom to hell. Okay, oh. There she, there she goes again. I think I have to go down. I'm not sure what's up from there. Let me guess, you disappear when I get close. Yeah. Well, you know. Story of my life. It's what all the ladies do. Mm -hmm. I see you got the old drunk fool's ticket. Good job, I suppose. I'm getting all my accents mixed up. Right, well, I don't have time to humor your every fancy right now. The choppy waters require my full... Wait a minute. The hell is that woman doing on the bow? Oi. Oi, you, get off me bow. You're blocking me view. Bloody girl's not listening. Go out there and give her t get her to move. Well, you know, I'm not exactly armed here. I can't, you know... Oh, wow. You, your face is really messed up. 
I think that's I'm not even sure that's supposed to look like that. You're kind of your hair's kind of bleeding into your face. You're the first person I've seen on this ship who doesn't look dead. But your face is blurry. Why are you here? I ask you the same question, I've got your tickets. Hello? Oh. Excuse me, lady, I need your ticket. <laughs> Waited here for so long and I've forgotten the need to speak. I'm waiting for someone to board the ship, so I've been holding on to my ticket. There's a lighthouse ahead. There's a lighthouse ahead of us. I'm sure there's someone there. I don't see a lighthouse over there. Well, maybe if you turn around. It's just another sunny day over the blue water. You really do have problems. Everyone sees things differently on this ship. That's interesting. Have you tried walking around and talking to people here? I've spoken with everyone I know on this ship. They are innocent, delusional, and pessimistic. I believe one is a shadow of the person I'm looking for. Are we talking about the black silhouettes on the ship? I mean shadow in a more figurative way. Those people that cannot see you are people you do not know. The person is someone I know, but he's not his whole self. Oh, I've seen any dismembered passengers. Wow, that's dark. Let's go with that. Yes, he's missing a large part of himself. His shadow feels like the embodiment of negativity. Maybe that's what's going on with your face there. His ha his mask haunts me. This did this person help you remember who you are looking for? I didn't speak to him for long. He didn't have anything helpful to say, mostly hurtful. I could not see his face, and he was wearing a mask like the others. Well, so are you. It doesn't sound very nice. I don't think I've met the guy. He's not very nice. I don't think you would have. He's below the main deck in the boiler room. Does the ferryman know about this guy? I imagine he does. He knows a lot despite his sour demeanor. Could you show me how to go down? The elevator only goes up. If only I could, I can hardly move anymore. <laughs> this mask weighs on me so. Goodness, what does my mask look like? You don't have a mask. You're different. There's nothing guarding your face and you almost seem alive. I couldn't tell you if I'm dead or alive. Think, who was it you were looking for? He was the one who waited with me in the hospital. I don't know how long I've been here. It seems like I'm more familiar with this ship than any place else. Can we end this conversation already? You didn't get any answer from the Shadow Man? I don't know. Sometimes I think he's the one. But that can't be true. I'm slipping, and so is my ability to keep up this accent. This mask is draining me. I can get the ferryman. Maybe he can help. No, he cannot help me. Find the boiler man. I'm not going to last much longer, Marcus. Okay, well, that's, that's one ticket down. One more ticket down. Line's not getting any shorter. Uh, spoke to her, did you? Bloody annoying, isn't she? At least she's out of the way. Well, don't you have something you ought to be doing? I'm busy here, and you have business downstairs. Go on, get. Well, thank you too, buddy. Oh, can we close the treasure chest? Oh, it is closed. There's something creepy about this chest. Well, I mean, a child died in it, so yeah, that's probably a little creepy. Go down. Oh, what horrors of warping my voice await us? Oh yeah, this is... This is looking real good. You suck at your job, bro. Look how messy this place is. Everything's on fire. <laughs> At the end of his time, the man from the boy finally emerges. But he is a coward still, or will he face his wraiths? Will he let the sand tickle out? Or t trickle? Trickle out. Or has the courage to turn back the hands of fate? The ferryman sent me to get your ticket. 
I'm just sticking with the ticket thing. And like a pawn, you move where he commands without a thought to the reason or overall plan. Do you ever wonder at what the reason might be that saw you woke up on a dock out at sea? I've been asking, it's kind of cut off there. I've been asking, I've asked everyone on this godforsaken boat and no one gives me a damn answer. It's cut off again on the right there. Did anyone test this game? Perhaps a small mercy they granted unto you, but no such compassion will I bestow upon a craven such as you. The answer you sought, I give it to you now. A shattered soul taken to an edge, s slickened wrists brought about an end. But is this the end of a story or the start of another? Most likely the former, as I see no hope for the latter. Shattered soul, slickened wrists, what are you implying? With all the pieces before you, you might think you a bit slow. Screw you too, buddy. It was your hand that slew you, yet not that alone, but I thought I was alive. And by your hand, the others also found themselves here. I didn't murder them, I'd never murder anyone. Nothing so crude, but in the end, just the same. An action can be just as strong as an action. Knives are not needed to cause pain. The sister dead of neglect at age six. The father drowned in a cup with only his son to blame. And finally the woman waiting for the man who never came. Lily said she died stuck in a toy chest. I had nothing to do with it. Recall the whole story, Marcus, before you say that again. You were in charge of her, something you resent. Had Big Brother watched her, as he promised he would, she would not have died in a coffin taken too soon. But I looked for her. Mistakes were made and consequences must be had. A wrong and a right do not always absolve, and so you must live or die with the results you have wrought. It isn't my fault, I did what I could. You still have questions and I have answers. The father drowned in a cup with only his son to blame. The woman waiting for the man who never came. My father? That drunk man was my dad? Of course, who else could he be? But was he a loving father or uncontrollable debauchee? I remember him now, but I... In the bar, he said he drank himself to death. And while the truth that may be, there's a certain irony still. To the great beyond, the child follows the father. To once again offer the cup that killed him. I told him to stop drinking. Well, maybe he should have known better. Yeah, let's be a dick about it. Once more quarrel I have with you before- One more quarrel I have with you before a resolution is reached. The woman waiting for the man who never came. I'm the one the woman was waiting for? Yes, the woman who you once professed to love now waits in the grave, awash in the masquerade of beyond. You paid dearly to be able to see her again. Ignorant of the results, your action would spawn. Man, I thought the other voice was hard on my voice. This is really wrecking me. <clears throat> Alice called you a shadow of the person she was looking for. Her name was Alice? When did she say that? What did she mean? Though it stares you in the face, still you do not see. Flip a coin in the air and watch as it spins. Maybe later. One side shows you the other side, me. I am everything you hate, all you regret. And you're really messy, too. Woven into one person, your greatest laments. You're me. Alice was my wife. I remember now. Alas, it seems that the need for me is done. Though do not believe that you have won. I get the feeling there's no winning in a game like this. 
One more thing remains for you before you reach the end. Go find the woman, speak to her, and leave nothing unsaid. Okie dokie, well that's a ticket. I got another achievement. I'm really tempted to go down here, but I think I'm going to go up. I don't really want to go any further down than that. All the shadows are gone. Oh, have we landed? Ferryman! Okay. Lighthouse. It's all been leading up to this, uh, apparently. I can talk to the girl, but I'm going to talk to the ferryman first. That beard just keeps drawing me in. Like a moth to the flame. Well, the cat's out of the bag now, laddie. There's no happy ending here, no sailing off into the sunset. You have a choice to make, and I don't envy you one bit. Know that if you choose this door to go back to the world of living, there might not be any coming back here. I can't idle by and wait for you forever. Next time you come back, it might be a different ship. Or maybe it won't be a ship at all, I don't know. Maybe it'll be a unicorn. The afterlife is funny like that. Anyway, you have a choice, and I can't sit here forever till you choose. Go on. I guess I'll talk to her. Oh, what was my voice for her? It's you! I can see you now! The Boiler Man is gone now. Not gone? In this world, the Boiler Man was a manifestation of your negative emotions. This game is so deep. He's always been a part of you. But you're in control now! How did you come back? Everything went dark and I heard a voice! It was you! You brought me back! But now you need to make a choice, Marcus! We're at a crossroads! What choice do I have? You're special, Marcus! I hope you know that! I do! You're both a part of this world and the world we both came from! But it can't be the one that that way! Once you walk through one of these doors, I won't hold anything against you. I love you, and I know I'll see you again. If you take the door closest to me, you'll travel to the life beyond and everyone you've met on this sh with everyone you met on this ship. Are you going to go back to the world of living through the lighthouse? Or are you going through the left to stay with me and the others? Well, screw you, lady. I'm going to go back to the world of living. I got things to do, I got people to see, I got, you know, stuff. The stuff, lady. Well, the cat's out of the bag now. The, oh, oh, you're just, yep. We've seen all this before. You're just repeating yourself. You disappointed me. Got an achievement. No place like home. <clears throat> Okay, white screen. Oh, I was in a coma. Wow, what what an original ending to an original game. Game of the year. Okay. White, white screen. Oh, fading to black. And credits. Okie dokie then. Well, uh... Thank you, Underdog Games. Uh, Wilson Villegas. I'm not, I'm not going to read the rest of the names. Uh, oh, okay. Well, uh... This has been, uh... Port of Call... All right. Uh, th thanks. Thanks for joining me. I'm. I'm gonna go rest my throat for a bit. All right. Peace.